Looking to improve the flight on your wedges? Hi, I'm Jason King for Australian Golf Digest TV. Now today I'd like to talk about pitch shots and what really separates the amateurs from the professionals around getting the right ball flight and getting enough spin coming into the green. So what I see with the club golfers and people that come in for lessons is that they struggle to spin the ball from these shorter distances and that to me is around a couple of ideas. Firstly, the club face and how it's presented at the ball. I see a lot of open faces coming into impact and not much shaft lean either and that's one of the things that's now been actually documented by one of the best 3D biomechanics in the world, Dr. Rob Neal, who talks about these short shots with the best players in the world, that they have a lower launching flight. So that ball's gonna launch at about a 26 or a 28 degree launch window. For me, a lot of that is to do with the presentation of the club at impact, but certainly the delivery. So if I'm looking at the behind view, what I see with a lot of the amateurs is that they come in with a golf club, but remembering that the wedge is a lot shorter. We're a lot more on top of the ball. It's not like playing a mid iron or a fairway wood where the ball's further away from us. So when we get in real tight in our setup position, sometimes that gets the shaft pitch a little bit too vertical. We've got to try and remember that club, even though it's a wedge with a 64 degree lie angle, that it does need to work on a bit of an arc into the ball. So what I mean by that, I want to see that golf club approach the ball with a slightly inside path, encouraging some rotation to the club face at the bottom of the swing. Ultimately, that inside path is going to give us a much shallower attack angle, and it's going to create a lot more spin on that flight. So I'm going to hit one here just to demonstrate how I'd play the shot with a slightly inside path. We're going to see a lower launching ball flight that's going to spin a lot more when it lands. So I pinched that really nicely there. You can see that my body worked up to extension. It also helps shallow that golf club out at the bottom of the swing. But I had a slightly inside path coming in, which encouraged a little bit of rotation to the club to release. For me, that's one of the things that transfers the energy better. When we get that inside path, we get some rotation to the club. It's almost a better sequence for maximizing the energy we transfer to the ball.